Hello, this is Phil Thomas, New Era Systems. Today I'm going to do what we call an exit test. In other words, that unit, the 25 watt KU band buck has been sold, but prior to shipping we want to run it once more through the test, make sure nothing's gone wrong while it's been sitting on the shelf. So let me go over the cast of characters. NJT 25 watt KU band frequency range 14 to 14.5 14 gigahertz. This is a nice buck because it is entirely AC powered. It doesn't require 24 or 48 volt over the IFL cable like so many of the other smaller bucks do. On the transmit port of uh, any sort of amplifier you need a dummy load and the dummy load absorbs the radiation, prevents it spreading into the room and causing damage to anyone in the room and also other equipment in the room. The modem that I'm going to use is my trusty Comtech 570L. It is an L-band modem. It has 10 MHz reference and this particular one has a 24 volt DC power supply that I'm going to turn off before I start the test. The other component that I'm going to use to check the power output is that Agilent power meter and it will give me a good measurement of the output across the frequency range starting at 14.0 going up to 14.5 we want to make sure that the power is pretty linear across that frequency range. Now I'm going to pause for a few minutes and I'm going to get everything cabled up and ready to begin the test. Okay we're just about ready to start the test the cabling has been done well almost all the cabling the output from the modem has not been connected to the buck because first I have to go through the modem and make sure the 24 volt DC is turned off and I didn't want to risk bringing up the modem with that 24 volt enabled. I don't know what damage it would do to the buck but let's just be safe and turn it off. All right, let's get to this modem. And to config, first thing we have to do is to turn it on to local mode. Because it has a Ethernet card and it always comes up in remote mode. We're going to go over to ODU. And look at the buck. DC power. DC power is off fine. Now let's look at the 10 megahertz reference and that is on. Next I need to check the local oscillator frequency. In this particular case it should be 13.05 so let's change this Okay, done. So now when I set the frequency on the modem, although it's an L-band frequency, I will see reflected the KU-band frequency. In other words, 950 MHz L-band will now show up as 14.0 GHz in the RF range. So now it's time to turn on the, the buck. Okay, the power now is uh, negative 35 dBm. And we're showing 3.9, just about 4 watts. So I'm going to increase this. I'll take a little bit of jump at first because we're well off the designed maximum of this unit as 25 watts. I'm going to increase, take it down to neg 32, and we see a jump to 8 watts. Neg 30, 11 watts. Okay, 18 watts. Okay, 
Okay, we're, we're running up right up to the maximum now. It's probably in saturation. Um, I would have to take it a small step at a time to ensure that we haven't reached saturation and we're not overdriving this. So I'm just going to back it off a little because the test today is really designed to test the linearity across the frequency range and make sure there's no drastic change as we move up the frequency. So the next frequency we're going to put in is going to be 14.25. Okay, I've confirmed the frequency at 950. In other words, 14, 1 14 gigahertz. And we're showing 23.1 on the output. So now I'm going to up this to 14.25 and there's very little change it has dropped it has changed it has changed very slightly so now we're going to go up to the top end of the frequency range and our goal now is to take it up to 14.5 there it is and the 14.5 is dropped to 17 watts it's no huge problem. Um, it's not always linear across the range. Let's just go and look at the additional power that we need to bring it back up to the 22 watts and see if it's appreciable or not. I'm taking up in small steps now. And it's going up in a linear fashion, so we're certainly on to saturation. 14.8 should bring us up to, increasing this to 14.7 should bring us up to 18.8. Again, that's about right. Okay. There we are. So now we have increased the power at that range to neg 25. This amplifier does seem to be working well. So I feel confident in sending it out today that it's going to satisfy the new customer. The amount of air movement on this fan is quite remarkable. It's sucking in through the top and it's blasting out on all sides. So in a hot environment, I think this buck will work extremely well, even exposed to the full hot sun of the desert area. This particular one is going to go to Nigeria, which of course, as everyone knows, is not the coolest place in the world. Okay, that's it. I'm going to wrap this up today. I'm quite comfortable with this. And now we've got to get to packing and make it ready to ship. Thanks for watching.